Anzac biscuits is an iconic biscuit from the land down under. They were invented by the soldiers' wives and mums they sent to soldiers overseas. The key ingredients for this recipe are oats and golden syrup. That's two. This recipe is customary served in Anzac Day. Anzac stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Established in World War One, Or should I say Great War? Australia and New Zealand and around the world on April 25th, every single year, come together to celebrate the achievements of war and commemorates those who never return. I am not here to teach you how to cook, but I can show you that anyone can cook. When I say anyone can cook, I mean anyone can cook. When I say anyone, anyone can cook, I mean anyone can cook. We need to get our stuff up. Roll oats, desiccated coconut, plain flour, sugar, baking soda, and butter. In a large mixing bowl, throw in half a cup of sugar, 100 grams. Quarter cup, 50 grams of brown sugar. Measure one, and I say one cup of rolled oats. Chuck them in the bowl. One cup, 150 grams, plain flour, and a fresh coconut. Lessen the butter around one-third cup. Mix well until well combined. Set aside. In a small saucepan, pour one and a half teaspoons of baking soda or bicarbonate soda. Add in the two tablespoons of boiling water. Mix well. Set aside. In a small pan over low heat, pour half a cup or melt. 125 grams of butter. Simmer until melts. Add the 1 tablespoon golden syrup or inuyat. Mix well. Pour the baking soda mixture. It will going to bubble up. So good! This will going to smell like honey. It smells like honeycomb. Blend well. Turn the heat off. Chuck the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and mix until well combined. Set aside. Preheat the oven for 200 degrees Celsius. Drop a quarter cup of oat mixture on palm. Press it together to make a ball. Put on sheet panel with wax paper. You can form 10 biscuits. I tried to press them using the bottom of this mug, but I just don't like that they are breaking up. I use my palm to form them together. Lay them on baking tray, leaving room for spreading. Hey, if not subscribed yet, smash the subscribe button and the bell right now to see the latest videos uploaded on YouTube every day and every other day. Bake for 15 to 18 minutes for chewy texture and additional 3 to 5 minutes for crunchy ones. Lower the temperature to 150 to 170 degrees Celsius. Cool on tray for a few minutes then transfer to wire racks. If you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making it, Please laser beam the like button and let us know in the comment section what food you want us to try next or if you tried this recipe. I love hearing from you guys. Then serve. See you in the next videos, my D repeaters. to all of my repeaters. That is all from Cook Repeat.